Hey guys, James with Jetty USA and Esprit Tech. I wanted to get with you today and show you how you would go about setting up an automatic landing gear using a telemetry control. Uh, something only Jetty can do and we wanted to share it with you. What we're doing for our demo today is we're using the MLT sensor to register the altitude. We're using an R9 receiver and a couple of electric retracts. Uh, the way we do this is we set up a telemetry control using that MLT's altitude, set an X over altitude, to operate a switch and we've used 1.2 meters because it's about what I want to reach in front of the camera. Um, you would probably set that a little higher you know for safety um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works and then we'll get into a little bit of the programming. I'm going to go ahead and plug in our power so I can bring our sensor up. Let our altitude be registered. We're at a natural zero so that would be your taxiing altitude. Once you reached your takeoff altitude the gear would automatically come down the voice would file and then you'd fly around. Now this can also be set on a switch so that once you go ahead and throw that switch your gear would automatically come back. I want to go ahead and break it down, show you how to do the programming uh, and share that with you. Alright guys I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you how to set up that automatic retract system we showed you. Uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is set up the telemetry control. Uh, well, let's back up a little bit. The first thing you want to do is take a look and see whether or not the sensor is registering. And we're going to do that by clicking our menu button, using our 3D wheel to scroll down to timers and sensors. We want to do the same. We want to scroll down to sensors, logging, setup, and make sure that we can see our sensor. In this case, it was the MLT, and it is registering with the radio. We are seeing all of the data it's collecting, so we'll go ahead and use that one. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and set up our telemetry control. You do that by going to, in the main menu, Advanced Properties. I'm going to scroll down to Telemetry Controls and select it. Uh, and in this case, we've already set up the switch. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in the switch that we've created into the telemetry control we've created. And by going into our MX1, you can scroll between them. Uh, we'll choose MX1. Uh, we've labeled that for gear. You notice that it's enabled. If it's not enabled, the switch will not work and you won't have the ability to adjust it. Uh, we've chosen the MLT and we've chosen relative altitude as our uh, parameter we're using. The type of control is a switch. Now you can change that and use it as proportional control or a switch control. Uh, in this application, it needs to be as a fixed switch. So the next part that you're going to do is you're going to actually set up the conditions to operate the switch. Uh, we've chosen an X greater than as our conditional, and we've chosen 1.2 meters. Uh, you can set a small window, a plus or minus window, to give you a little bit of variance in there. Uh, we've chosen zero at 1.2 meters. Uh, our duration is zero seconds which means it's instantaneous. Uh, we've chosen zero percent in the default and we have a switch selected so that we're able to shut this automatic function off. Uh, we've chosen our SE switch for that. Uh, so you can see that in this position that function is off in the other position that function is on. Uh, once you've gone through and you've set that switch up you can go ahead and select OK. Now that you've created a switch, you need to assign it to a function. So we're going to go ahead and go back into the main menu, go into our model, go into our function assignments, go down to gear that we established when we created the model, and here is where you would assign your MX control. To do that, you would select the line, go into the control line, select again, I'm going to go ahead and clear out our entry so you can see what you would see if it was a fresh setup. Uh, what you're going to have, uh, if you go into Select Input Control, uh, you can select logical switches, the uh, accelerometers, uh, you can choose the MX control. That's your telemetry control. So in this case, we're going to choose an MX. We're going to go ahead and select MX1, so we use the 3D button to select it. We've placed that control into the system, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Uh, now what you can do to verify that, that it's actually working, uh, even before you have your gear and everything installed, you can actually power up your system, which we've just done. 
and go ahead and use the sensor, raise the sensor to your selected height, and you'll be able to tell whether or not that, that function is working. Let me go ahead and turn that function on. And go ahead and raise our sensor up. You hear the gear operating, and we know that that function is good. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. You'll hear the gear come back to the rest position. And we know that control works. You can use this with just about any of your telemetry control outputs. Uh, this spe specific video was just to show you how to do the automatic uh, landing gear. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Esprit Tech or Jetty USA. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.